You know, I am from the middle class, and I too looked and saw the direction the country was going in, and I said, you know, we have to do better. What about us? What about the bottom 99% of us? And so I started off on a pretty lonely quest to get to Congress. I had $100 in my account, and it was my money. I invested in my own campaign, 100 bucks, and I got a friend to join me, and that made two of us. And then we went out and we started telling people that I was running for Congress. And usually I got a very pitying look. <laughs> and, but sometimes I got laughter, too, and sometimes together. And I said, no, because here's our secret. There's more of us than there are of them. It's as simple as that. And so those of us who want to change in Washington started speaking to others. And we said to them, we don't really care if you're a Republican or a Democrat or an Independent, because that's not what this fight is about. Being Republican is not going to save you from the Bush administration. And being a Democrat is not going to make your life any better either. It's what we do as a group. Is there anything you're doing that's more important from now until November 4th than saving your country and saving your children's future and your grandchildren's future? Because when your children and your grandchildren read the history books in 20 years or 30 years, what will they read? Will they read that in the autumn of 2008, when everything was falling apart, did good people say, I would love to help, but you see, I already committed to go to this on Saturday, and I really meant to do something. But you know, I was feeling a little tired, I'd had a really hard week. Or will they read that in 2008, when our country needed us now more than ever, we stood up as a people, as the bottom 99% and said, you know, this is our moment, it's happening on our watch. This freedom, this democracy, this strength, this beauty that we call America needed me. And yes, I'd like to tell my grandchildren, I stood up, I was counted, and I answered the call, and I changed the direction of our country. That's what we all want. But we can't get there without you. I believe in me, and I believe in you, and I believe in my children, I believe in this country, and I believe that what we saw when I was growing up is possible again. If you went and you worked, and you worked an honest work week, you got an honest pay, you got retirement, you got health care, you may not have been wealthy, but you had a car in the, in the garage, and you could take Friday and Saturday off. But you always knew, always knew, that by going to work, you would be okay. You would nail down your place in the middle class. And we're not sure of that anymore. We know lots of people who go to work, and they don't make a decent wage, or they don't have the health care covered. Their retirement's being yanked away. We know what's happened. I don't need to tell all of you. You know better than anybody what's happened to working men and women. But if we want the change, we have to devote ourselves to it. And that means from now until November 4th, there's nothing else you're doing that's more important than saving your country.